Now, apart from numbers, we also have a data of type string. Say, for example, this is a string. String is always kept in quotes. When we have to manipulate these strings, again, some functions are available directly and also available from the string object itself. Okay, let's look at some of these functions. A equal to 1, 2, 3, string of A. Now, what does it do? String, okay, let's say A. What it does is, it converts a number into a string. Let's say string of 123 point, a floating number. It just converts it into text, okay. Now, another thing is, another function that is very nice to have, is len which gives us the length of the object so here it is string so it will give us the length of string so length of yes 10 or len of 123 now remember len is expecting a string so, we have to say len of str of 1, 2, 3, which will give us 3. Len of string of 1, 2, 3 point is 10. Okay. Now, another very interesting uh, function is chr. Okay. It expects a number. Let me give you, let me give it 6, 65. Now, internally, the computer is, uh, you know, keeping all this data in terms of codes, in our case, Unicode. A has a uh, code, B has a code, C has a code, cap and there is different codes for capital letters and lowercase letters. For numbers, each number there is a different code. So, what this character function does is it converts a number that we gave into the corresponding character that is, you know, corresponding to that code. So, character of 65 is capital A. Character of 95 is underscore. Character of, say, 78 is capital N. Character of 112 is lowercase p. Okay. So, these are some of the functions which are directly available. Now, apart from these functions, we also have the string functions, right? Let me create some uh, variables so that we can use those variables. Let's say a is equal to this is this is my first string. Just something so that we can manipulate it. B is equal to my c is equal to b i think let's see as and when we require we will do it okay uh, d is equal to i'll keep some spaces and just for more information just some some, some text okay so let's look at some of the string functions so first let's list down you know, let's see how many, what are the functions available. Okay, now, here you can't use, because this is, string is not a package. It is an, a class of data, right? So, there we had to import, remember, we had to say import math, because math was a package. Here, it is not. There are other functions where we using which we can get that information, but let's uh, look at some of the functions uh, that most of the languages will provide you. A dot lower. Yes. Now, do you notice uh, the way in which we wrote these functions? Yes. Is different than this. And this difference comes because of what I mentioned as part of DIR. Here, I said it is not a package. That is why you can't list 
it using dir function it is a class right so when i create this string it is actually creating an object of string so to and this object will have this method or this function defined as part of that object since it is part of that object we have to use the complete path of that function by saying b is an object whose function i am calling similarly d dot upper see here it is not getting updated huh? so it is still in lower case itself if i say d it is still in lower case okay so remember the difference between uh, a class functions and package functions package functions are accessible from wherever by importing that package but here an object functions can be accessed only for a particular object using the object name we saw lower upper what about proper let's say d dot proper now that is another uh, you know problem you will face once you know multiple languages different languages may have different names for the same functionality right so here with using proper i was trying what i was trying to do was you know convert first letter of every word into the capitals and the remaining as lower case now here in python it is d dot title lot more functions uh, let's say d dot l just okay now this is read this and it will give you an idea as to what went wrong here it says l just takes at least to one argument zero has been given okay so what we'll do is we'll look at a right a dot l just which stands for left justify how many characters let's say 30 characters right or let's say 50 characters now if you notice uh, this entire thing is going to be 50 characters in that 50 character string this text is left justified it is kept to the left that's what this means a dot r just now let me just make it 100 so that you get a feel of what is happening right here if you notice this is my string this entire the length of this entire string is 100 and within that 100 string the text this is my first string is right justified it is kept to the right similarly similarly a dot center 50 so it is centered now my string d has spaces in both left hand side and the right hand side so i can ask it to strip this spaces i can say r strip right on the right hand side those extra spaces have been removed i can say l strip left hand side spaces have been removed because i'm not storing it that's why right hand side spaces appears again if i want both sides to be removed then l strip of no d dot l strip dot r strip okay let's get this again is lower is a lower false why because this t is capitals okay let's uh, do this for d d dot is lower this should return true because every letter there is lowercase so naturally if is lower is there then is upper should also be there so d dot is upper false a dot is upper false why because is upper tells you whether all of the letters are in 
capitals or not. Okay. Another function, capitalize. A dot capitalize, right? You can't make out the difference because it was in capitalized form itself. Whereas if I say D dot capitalize because of the spaces, there is no capital form of so D dot um, capitalize L strip D dot L strip dot capitalize. Yes. So here first I am removing the space and then I am capitalizing. Capitalizing basically um, will convert the first letter of each sentence into capitals. Let us say I want to know what are all the various variables, locals. Yes, remember. Now here I, I have. Now split. A is, this is my first string. So, what I will do is a dot split, right? Separator is what? Separator is, let us say, space, right? So, wherever spaces are there, it is splitting it and converting this single string into a list of strings. Now, what I can do is I can store it in a separate variable. Now, P is going to be a list, right? Now, I have functions to find, replace. But another interesting uh, functions of strings is, is alphanumeric false. There are no numbers. But 1, 2, 3, I have C. C dot, this should be true. Similarly, I have is alpha. So, A dot is alpha. All of them alphabetic no why this is my string dot is there because of the dot full stop it is saying it is not all alpha a dot is now let's see uh, for more information doesn't have any q is equal to let's look at this is alpha true because all the elements are alphabets similarly you have is is digits is digit okay i think that's enough just keep practicing this in the shell itself bye